through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. <clears throat> right, welcome to Horizon Forbidden West. So I'm just going to check it's recording. Yep, yep, we are good to go. Make sure that the settings, because I believe that there's actual graphics options on a console for once. I haven't started doing that since the new gen, uh, new generation of them. Quite nice. What have we got then? Du -du -du, standby screen mode. Um. Go pilot. Looks good to me. Let's see if we can put subtitles on. There should be. We'll put a background on, makes them a bit easier to see. Eh? Right. Just make most. I'm making sure that there's not a difficulty option hidden away there. So we've had his recap on the previous story. I'm looking forward to diving into this. And I will be playing it on the hardest difficulty because I did that on the last one. <laughs> this will be absolute pain, but I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's, the last one was one of the few games that I would actually say is really good on the hard difficulty. You have to really utilize your traps and things to just take down the monsters and just pin them down while you just bombard them with fire and corruption arrows and things. So, very much looking forward to this though. It's been it's been too long since I last done this. Right, what have we got? Max and I comes on screen to assist with the journey. Minimal hood, look at the world find your way. Mm. Mm. I don't know if I'm that into the immersion of it. Maybe you can change some of the options later, but I'll put it on guided for now. It's essentially just asking me if I want a sat nav or not. And with how big I've heard this world is, yeah, I probably want a sat nav. <laughs> anyway, it's law friendly. She's got a Google Glass thing on her hair, hasn't she? That little hair clip focus thingy. Alright. So it uses an auto save system. It's up to know. Let's get in. The 
if you are just a guy out watching this one, you will be able to watch it. Supposedly, this is going to be about, from what I've heard, approximately 40 hours. So I expect roughly about 40 to 45 episodes, I would, I would say, for this. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, 
You'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> a focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Okay, cut so you know the microphone back on. Let's go. <laughs> These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. Step one, make a med kit. You can store a limited number of medicinal berries in your medicine pouch. Tap once to use your uh, berries from your pouch. Bitter? Yeah, well, I feel like gave me about better. a bar worth of health. Alright, we should keep going. Oh, we can hold ten of them. Might good. want to grab more of these plants along the way. We're gonna need those. Yeah, good idea. On very hard difficulty, we are absolutely gonna need these. I'm now trying to remember what the jump button is. There we go. There it is, telling me there's a button there. Okay, let's Close see. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. Hmm, I would say that way. I would say this way. Those berries. Oh, uh, no. It's fine, let's see something. Are you gonna jump? Go for a swim? Fastest way down. Ooh. Well, I, I was trying to press the button. <laughs> it did say surfing. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, looks like X is to go up. I'm fumbling my way around, we'll get there. I'll have all of five seconds to figure out the controls after this before a giant monster probably beats me. I've a long way to get here. I almost caught up to you a couple times, too. But it's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. What are we after exactly? Box. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Oh. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. We might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. Alright, let's get some arrows. Alright. Now to craft here. some arrows. There's a ladder. But oh, can't reach you. it. So that's not using light and X. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Yeah, okay, so it's like, just hold X. Done. Arrows made. Me Look. too. Arrows ready. And spare arrows. Just in case. And spare arrows. Just in case. And a few more healing herbs. You've got to take very hard difficulty very seriously. From what I remember. <laughs> Basically, we want to have a full stock of traps and. Um, 
only hmm after you there we go then shoot red things climb yellow things got it Just Why before I go into this bit, which is that's got to be a what boss. What was this place? So that'll be the combat tutorial. Um, just want to make sure visual. Here we go. Graphics mode. This is what I was looking for earlier, really. Right. Favors a higher fidelity at lower frame rate. Performance resolution. Okay. Right, we've. I just wanted know. to make sure it's on the. So you'll have noticed this, uh, this by now. I found. Didn't say. I'll just let them. Only that a backup speaking. might be here. We need to find a way in. So. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? In fact, I'll just pause it while so we don't miss the talking. Basically, two choices: we can have performance mode or uh, graphics mode. Since it's going on YouTube, I'm thinking well. You know, it won't matter to you the frame rate, uh, frame rate of this much, given that you're just watching it. Playing it, I mean, it, it'll give me a slight handicap, I guess. But, you know, it's not like an online competitive shoot where I have to have twitchy uh, response times and such. So, we're going full 4K, it'll be uploaded as such, as you'll probably notice by now. You can watch this in 4K. It will be 30 frames per second, because that's the max that can hit on the PS5 with, you know, 4K ray traced mega graphics. Which is honestly quite well, impressive that they can still hold a steady gone. frame rate. Ben, some of us figured you only would have left good. if it were for something important. You were right about that. The blood's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. Peppers. Ooh, dry open. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. Jungle, gold thorn, and cargo crates. Silver and metal. Okay. Find anything good? A few supplies. Right. Get what we can again harder difficulty this is going to be and I've not played it for a long Down time so I'm fully expecting my first combat to be excruciating get to the cross. yeah this is gonna be painful never seen one of those before me neither those machines have it on alert how do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay. Burrower. Wheat versus fire. And something green. Not just regular arrows, maybe. Ready. Okay, concentrate. And about there -ish. Okay, we completely fudged that. Um That wasn't as bad as I expected. <coughs> Another one's coming. Oh, maybe it will be. Right, um, how do I crouch again? Crap. 
circle the dodge roll, so... Who cares? Kill it! Got the shot off. Ow! Ah, oh, you can't do a melee attack while you're stunned like that. Straight in the eye, there we go. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So uh, after the fuss of the leaving, what did okay. everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Another ladder. I need to shoot off the lock. Got it. Is there any else over here? Before I run off? Oh, there's some berries there. That could be important. Right. Let's go. Just go through each other as they do. <laughs> right. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. <laughs> Ah, square to toggle then. No, to toggle crouch. There we go. And a sprint. Good. Square to crouch. The old crouch is unusual, but I suppose it's because the uh, circle button's been taken be okay, up by Avril. the dodge, which is reasonable. Through here. What's this? Hello. So that's a shortcut back to the area earlier, just in case. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. And also, one thing that I always found quite funny with this is the names of the items. Be able to pry this open. Like, we got an ancient reef there. So it's a pearl necklace. No, it's an ancient reef. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? So we're on the track of some on the tracks of someone. Ugh, what's that stench? The entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. Looks like yeah, something big really came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Hmm. Well, something over here is marked as being important. Ooh, supply cache. Right, here we go. Right, let's find out what's been doing this thing. Don't think we can Whatever came through that here off. brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. 
It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. Oh, we're getting a grappling hook. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Okay. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. Maybe the bag of climbing gear that we found earlier will have some useful stuff. You know? Just saying. <laughs> Over there as well. Okay. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. All right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. That's good. Now to test it on the debris. Craft of the tool. Pull custom allows you to make more objects. Create a pattern. Okay. How do I use? Tap triangle. There's the rock parts. Maybe I should just, you know. Use my focus. Not even a dent. Or maybe the poor can take out the debris. Oh, hold the oh, There we go. I've got it. Okay. Figured it out. No, not quite nothing yet. That worked better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Right. What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dahlgaard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Okay. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Let's have a look. Yes, we'll we're on. Find out. Oh, 30 minutes in. Okay. Well, I have got something on that I need to go and do now. But I think that'll be a nice stopping point there. Oh, is it not? I don't think here? a pulse from my focus is enough here. I better scan the area. So, yep, I think I'm going to leave it here for the first episode. First minutes in, we'll figure out this puzzle. I might have just figured it out. But we'll call it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.